What's going on guys? You're watching The Hungry Handgunner. I'm Nick and we are back for another Bubba's Backyard Ballistic type experiment. Before we do that, I have a new shirt that my buddy Adam had made for me. It says The Hungry Handgunner. Got my two little pistol things set up there on the side. And then try to get this in frame for you guys. I'm not sure how well that showed up uh, when I'm editing this. If it didn't show up well, well, I will take a picture and put it in there. But yes, they are all faster than uh, 911 calling the authorities. He also has a neat little design on the sleeve here. Second Amendment, America's original Homeland Security. I think it's badass, so I wanted to give a shout out to my buddy Adam for making this for me. Uh, Adam's a co-worker of mine. I've known him for several years uh, back before we worked together. Just an awesome dude, and it was a really cool uh, present that he gave me. I'm actually going to see about getting the uh, some shirts with this design up on a storefront. So if you're interested, go ahead and comment so I can gauge interest. Also, uh, another announcement. I wanted to give a huge shout out to the channel's first member. That's going to be Sierra Bravo. Sierra Bravo has been a subscriber, a viewer, and commenter for a long time now. Uh, a long time for me with the re relative age of the channel. And I wanted to say thank you for uh, supporting the channel through channel memberships. For those of you who don't know, Go ahead, if you are interested in financially supporting the channel, there's going to be a join button on the channel homepage. It gives you special uh, little icons next to your name when you comment. There's going to be special emojis coming and early access to videos. So channel's first member is Sierra Bravo. I want to tell you thank you. So diving right into the point of the video, we did a test not too long ago with this guy. This is the Ruger LCP2 and 22 long rifle. We tested out the CCI Stingers, had a pretty impressive result. One gun I have not put over the chronograph, actually you guys have only ever seen it really once, um, is going to be this Bryco Arms slash Jennings Model 25 and 25 Auto or 25 ACP. It is clear, doesn't have a slide lock, so just take my word for it. Um, 25 ACP, 22 long rifle. Go ahead and tell me in the comments which one you would pick out of the two if you're going to carry one for defensive purposes. Uh, I'm going to save my conclusion until we run the test. I'm not really sure yet how this is going to go. Uh, I know what the boxes say, but again, 22 long rifle is a, a rifle cartridge, whereas we're shooting them out of small little handguns. So we're going to fire, I'll give it 10 rounds from each gun. I'm going to use the ammo that we're going to be using today is some bulk stuff. Well, I say bulk. It's uh, it's target ammo is really all I have for the 25. So we have a 50 grain full metal jacket. You can cover up the price sticker. I don't know if the YouTube gods will get mad. Kind of expensive for what it is. This is PMC bronze 50 grain full metal jacket. And then shooting some Winchester Super X uh, 22 long rifle 40 grain. So it is a little bit lighter. I couldn't find any 50 grain just regular 22 around me. So this is some stuff that I had. Uh, this is a copper plated round nose and this is, says it's doing 1300 feet per second again That's probably out of a 16 inch or longer barrel for rifle velocities So we'll do 10 rounds of each. I will have to reload the 25 because it only holds six So that'll be uh, interesting to see what we get. So without further ado, let's start shooting it again I will read the numbers to you with each shot and then I will also compile them and put them up on the screen and I'll calculate the muzzle energy as well. I'll also put the claimed or stated velocity for each one. Um, let's see with this 25 if it has a stated velocity on it somewhere. I don't believe it does. It tells you the drop though. It's going to drop 17 and a half inches at 100 yards. Something tells me to drop more than that. Uh, we don't have a stated velocity in the PMC bronze, so I may have to do some digging online and uh, get that for you guys. But Let's get to shooting. All right, so for those of you who may have missed the first test um, or the track record, I did shoot a chronograph. So we're going to be shooting for a stable platform. I am not Paul Harrell. I'm not going to pretend to be. We're going to start off with the 22 long rifle. These are the Winchester Super X, claimed velocity of 1,300 feet per second. I have no idea if they're going to cycle in this gun, so we will find out. And uh, yeah, here goes 10 rounds. 941. Got an error on that one. 944. 924. 
924 again 948 941 913 and 920 we'll go ahead and do one more since we had that error just to Keep it fair. And it looks like a 923. Moving on to the 25 ACP, I have six rounds loaded up. We will give it a go and see what we get. Error. Seven twenty three, seven fifteen. Error. Another error. Another error. So, not off to a good start with the 25. Uh, fire these six more through it here. Yeah, this thing's not known for its reliability here. I don't know if I'm shooting too high or what. There uh, we go, 686. 666 No change usually indicative of an error No change All right, let me load up some more. We'll give that another go. So I believe we had four readings So we need six more if my count is right Let's See what we get here Six seventy two error seven forty three seven forty three six seventy six and a malfunction. Because of course, it's not it's not shooting a 25 ACP without a malfunction, in my opinion. We'll go to our other bag here. I think we still lack two more readings, possibly. No change. 695. 687. So I'll crunch those numbers and uh, get back to you on what we have there. So I think it's important to note uh, one, reliability. This gun has been, the LCP2 in 22 has been largely very reliable. The only issue I had was with some CCI stingers right from the get go. Uh, I played with it, cleaned it up really good, lubricated it really good, I messed with the recoil spring just a little bit to give it a little bit more tension and it fi cycles fine now with stingers and with everything else it has been very reliable even when dirty. Now I know some of you are going to say why would you even buy one of these but this little Jennings slash Bryco 25, same cannot be said. Um, very unreliable when I got it, I cleaned it, I lubed it, I polished some stuff up, it ran okay for a little while and then it started choking again as you saw today on the video. I'll go ahead and give you my opinion. If I had to carry one of these tiny little guns, either the J25 or Model 25, 25 ACP, or the LCP2 and 22 long rifle, I would go with the LCP2 all day long. Uh, 
then that's what these two models with caliber itself I'm inclined to also go with 22 long rifle over the 25 ACP for a couple reasons I can tell you that box of 50 full metal jacket rounds was $20 and that was before COVID really got kicked off I'm not sure what it's going for now 22 when you can find it is nowhere near that expensive for 50 rounds uh, obviously and it's easier to buy in bulk easier to practice with whatever you also have 10 plus one in the lcp2 versus six plus one in the model 25 so the caliber itself i would go with the 22 if i had to choose between the two uh, i know rimfire reliability can be uh, suspect depending on what you get but with the ammo that you get that comes in the little plastic containers like the winchester super x where they have little round holders and stuff like that the higher end 22 ammo i don't believe i've ever had an issue with reliability uh, especially out of this so obviously going to bulk packs uh, could be a little different. I am going to be doing more uh, chronograph testing with the LCP2 with some other ammunition. Right now all that we have tested has been that Winchester Super X and these CCI Stingers. So I have a couple more types I want to try out. Uh, some I think some of it's the Federal Game Shock. It may be a different name. And then a bulk pack of I think Winchester White Box I'm going to test out. And that's really all the ammo that I have. I think. Now I have blazer lead round nose we'll be testing out too. So uh, stay tuned for that. If you're interested in the videos that I have up on either of these two guns, go ahead. They're going to be in the description. Check them out. So as always, guys, stay safe. Keep shooting if you can. Keep dry firing if you can't. And I'll see you next time.